Ex-boyfriend does the unexpected to this Kansas woman's pit bull to exact revenge, and then a stranger intervenes. Who doesn't love their dog? Their loving pet licks, sparkling eyes, and that tail which they wag on your sight. The moment our dear four-legged animal sees us, he would come running and jump on us. The way they roll on their backs and would hop beside us and cuddle, it just takes away our hearts. Who needs a human partner when we have such a loving creature next to us? They understand our emotions well and reciprocate those with sincerity. Imagine losing this beloved dog of yours. Does the mere thought break your heart or scare you? Don't worry, we're only imagining. But the woman of our story skipped a heartbeat when her pit bull goes missing. That wasn't all. Her ex-boyfriend disappears with the dog only to take revenge. Will the woman and her dog make it for a reunion, or will they become victims of a permanent split? Ikea Mosley is a resident of Wichita, Kansas. She's a single mother of two kids and is also a mother of pit bull mix whom she calls Zimba. She is an independent woman working as a food production professional. She's a loving mother who balances her personal and professional life well. It was really heartbreaking when she found out that Zimba, her rock star, was missing. Ikea and Zimba's relationship was no less than a mother and her child. Zimba would wait for her to return from work. He could be seen on the door wagging his tail at the right hour when Ikea would step back home. Not only this, he would eat only when his mom was there and would sleep in bed next to her. After being left by her spouse, Zimba's love was all Ikea found solace in. It was some eight years that Zimba has been a part of Ikea's life. The love and attention which they paid to each other made them an inseparable part of each other's life. One fine day, Ikea and Zimba went for a walk as usual, where Ikea met an attractive man and soon they turned into good friends. The random morning walks with Zimba turned into breakfast dates when Ikea and her new friends started sharing a special place in each other's hearts. Ikea could see that this new human was adding another meaning to her life and they came into a relationship. Her boyfriend loved Zimba as much as her. Zimba initially didn't like Ikea's boyfriend much, but with time, he too developed an attachment to him. He at last found a dad. They would cuddle and watch soccer together. Little did the poor pup know that his new dad would do the unimaginable to him, something so cruel no one would have ever thought of it. Ikea's boyfriend planned a road trip to Maryland. Unfortunately, Ikea, due to her work commitments, could not join her sweetheart on this road trip. But Zimba and Mosley's boyfriend went on the adventurous road trip anyway. Zimba was quite excited as evident from his continuous barking. Who knew it would be the last trip the dog would see? Maryland is known for its oceans and beaches. It is one of the best places to embark on a road trip. Zimba just hops in the back seat of the car and makes himself cozy. No one knew that a trip which started off on such a good note would end up being such a mess. To know about her boyfriend's and Zimba's whereabouts on reaching Maryland, Ikea calls her Bo. For some unknown reason, the couple ended up in a terrible fight which leads to the eventual breakup of the relationship. After sobbing for hours, Ikea dozed off. She was now just waiting for the duo to return. She can't wait to hug Zimba in this tough phase of life. In order to take revenge from his ex-girlfriend, Ikea's beau decides to do something with her dog. Even for a second, the guy didn't show any love towards the dog who treated him like a dad. A mere breakup took all the emotions that he had for Zimba away from him. What did the man do to Zimba? When a week passed by and Zimba did not return, Ikea calls her boyfriend who dumped her over a phone call. Strangely, he did not pick up. Ikea dialed the number on repeat, but there was no response. She didn't realize that the man she was trusting with her life wasn't a reliable one and had an altogether different agenda now. The number you're dialing is currently unavailable. Please try again later. This automated message was freaking the heck out of Ikea for an infinite time in the past three days. Ikea had no clue where her bow was and most importantly where her dear Zimba was. She started to panic and all sorts of strange and weird thoughts occupied her mind. Just like any other mother would be, Ikea was frightened. She wasn't aware where her little son was. Nights passed and she couldn't sleep. Even in her wildest nightmare, she didn't dream that the man she had blindly faith in would elope with her dog. The mother broke into tears and didn't know what to do. 
Did he do something to Zimba? Did he leave him somewhere in the land? Or did he leave my baby to a doghouse? Where is he? All these gloomy thoughts took over Ikea's peace, and she knew that it was time she did something about it. Would she be able to locate her pup, or did the breakup mean breaking ties with Zimba as well? After waiting for her dog's return for weeks, Ikea visits her ex-boyfriend's house. She knew that she would be able to catch him red-handed with her dog had he returned from the road trip. Surprisingly, the house was locked and the car was not parked there. The lawns had dried leaves spread all over, and Ikea was frightened to realize the house hasn't been unlocked in days. Ikea then starts searching for Zimba everywhere she could possibly think of. She visits the park she often took Zimba for walks in. After searching for days, she could not find any traces of her dear dog. Now the question bothering her was, is Zimba even in Kansas anymore? Mosley's boyfriend did the unbelievable to Zimba. That barbaric human abandoned Zimba somewhere back in Maryland as a breakup gift for Ikea. Zimba had been wandering on the streets of Ridgely that was almost 1,300 miles away for nearly more than two months. How will Zimba make his way to his weeping mother? Is there any way Ikea could come to know about her dog? Luckily, a lady found this abandoned dog. Since for days Zimba had been wandering, he looked pale and lost all his vitality and energy. He looked more like a stray dog than a pet. But was he really lucky enough to be found by a strange woman in an equally strange land? The woman dropped Zimba to the Caroline County Humane Society, CCHS, thinking him to be a stray. The society not only provides shelter to abandoned and stray dogs, but also offers adoption policies for these loving mute creatures. While they provided a refuge to Zimba, they also checked him for injuries. While looking for the same, the CCHS volunteers came across something in his collar. While treating Zimba, the volunteers at CCHS found a microchip. They thought seeing a dog collar around Zimba's neck, they were sure he wasn't a stray, and the microchip helped them find out about where he was from. They started scanning it and were shocked at the revelation. On realizing the dog was from Kansas, the volunteers were baffled. They weren't able to understand how a dog that belonged to a land that was situated some thousand miles away ended up in Maryland. It was almost impossible for a dog to walk to here. The volunteers knew there was much more to Zimba now. After fetching some more information on the microchip, the volunteers came to know about Ikea Mosley. They contacted her in Kansas, and Ikea couldn't believe that her ex-boyfriend had actually left her poor pup wandering in a foreign land for almost two weeks. Ikea narrates her entire story to them. Soon the only question was, how will Zimba travel back to Kansas? Ikea and her kids shared a sigh of relief after hearing from CCHS volunteers. It was almost after some three months that they got to hear about the well-being of their beloved Zimba. Ikea, even after trying, couldn't get any leave from her office and couldn't travel to Maryland to get Zimba back. Will the family be able to reunite with their pooch? Ikea asked CCHS to help with her situation. She couldn't wait to get her pooch back. Though CCHS tried their best to help her, no solution could be seen. They asked airlines to provide them with a reduced ticket, but that was impossible. It was then that Zach Holt came to everyone's rescue. Zach was an ex-CCHS worker. He later on gave up that job and started working as a bartender. He, however, is a pet lover and is always ready to help in times of need. As his girlfriend was working at CCHS, he came to know about Zimba and his situation. Zach says that, Though I'm working, but I'm up for this good deed. I'm a bar attendant and I work only on weekends, so Saturdays and Sundays. I'm free on the weekdays, and I guess a week would be enough to drive to and fro to Kansas and Maryland. Zach couldn't just refuse to help this poor doggo. He knew that the dog had already suffered the incurable pain in the last two months, and keeping him still away from his family wasn't something to be done. Zach then offers CCHS to travel to Kansas via road and reunite Zimba with Ikea. But how? CCHS had a brilliant idea. They shared the poor dog's story on their official page. How this pooch was abandoned by a man out of spite and how he was separated from his family living all the way in Kansas. This heartbreaking story of Zimba garnered worldwide attention and something amazing happened. People were touched by Zimba's story and were happy to see how Zach wanted to help him. In order to make up for the fuel and food expenses, people donated funds at the CCHS to help the society in performing this noble cause without further delay. Now everyone just wanted to know every update about the duo's road trip. 
As promised by the CCHS page, they provided the audience with all the updates about Zax and Zimba's road trip. Zack stopped at various places and took pictures of himself and the dog. All those were then posted to social media. People were happy to see the dog on his journey back to his home and his family. It seemed that every human who came across Zimba's tragic story wanted to help this dog. While many people helped him by raising funds, there were others like Jessica Pruitt. She commented on a photograph that, I love just outside Wichita. Our family would love to provide this man a meal and a tank of gas for his way home. This was very warm help from her side. Zach continuously drove all day and night to reach Kansas as soon as possible. Now even he was getting impatient and couldn't wait to see Ikea's reaction when she would reunite with her missing dog. More than Zach, there was someone else eagerly waiting for Zimba's return, none other than Ikea herself. The moment was finally there. After a long period of nearing three months, Zimba at last arrived at his home. His story already became so popular that many local news stations like KWCH, along with other media, crowded Ikea's house. No one wanted to miss this special reunion, that of a dog and his mother. As Zack took Zimba through the lush green lawns of Ikea's house, she came down running. The moment she saw Zimba, she bent down on her knees with her arms wide open to embrace her loving dog. Even Zimba started wagging his tail out of affection. It was an emotional reunion for the duo. Any amount of thanks that Ikea offered Zack wasn't enough. What Zack did for her and Zimba was beyond words. This family owes a lot to a man who drove all the way just to reunite two souls. Ikea tells the media that, I told Zack I'm very blessed to have him in my life. It is thanks to his efforts only that today Zimba and I could see this bright day in our lives. CCHS then did their last bid. They not only posted pictures from the emotional reunion of Zimba and Ikea, but they also shared a meaningful message. They tell the masses the importance of microchipping their pets. Because Ikea had microchipped Zimba, she could get him back. The entire Kansas and Maryland was proud of Zag and wished a happy life for Zimba.